waste of paper. I can't believe you just said that. Well, it's true. The Beats writing was completely self-indulgent. I have one word for Jack Kerouac. Edit. It was not self-indulgent. The Beats believed in shocking people, stirring things up. They believed in drugs, booze, and petty crime. Well, then you could say that they exposed you to a world that you wouldn't have otherwise known. Isn't that what great writing's all about? That was not great writing. That was the National Enquirer of the 50s. You're correct. Typical guy response. Worship Kerouac and Bukowski. God forbid you'd pick up anything by Jane Austen. Hey, I've read Jane Austen. You have? Yeah, and I think she would have liked Bukowski. What are you doing? So I'm pepper dead. One way to eat a fry. Really? It's fast food basketball. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. Do you like hot sauce? I don't know. Should I? I think it's wise. Huh? Hey. Oh, hey. Where are you? On my way to see you, if that's okay. Oh, well... I know you want to be alone, so I'll only stay a minute. I just want to say hi. We just said hi. Well, I want to say hi a little closer. But I'm a mess, really. It's not pretty. You won't recognize me. Well, then put a name tag on, because I miss you. I miss you, too, but... But what? But Paris is here. Why? She freaked out about a grade, and she wanted to go over some notes, and, you know, Paris, she will not be denied. Okay, then I'm not really ruining your alone night. Someone else did that. Yes, but... I'll see you in a sec. Can't get into poetry. It's kind of like, geez, just say it already. We're dying here. Wow, you know, I just noticed the time, and it's getting really late. It's 7 o'clock. I know, but Paris and I still have a lot more studying to do. Just please thank Luke for me. It was really nice of him. Who's that on the phone? No one. No one wouldn't happen to be heading over here right now, would he? Jess, what's going on? Nothing. He seemed on his way over and Rory doesn't want him to find me here. Why? Yeah, why? You know why. Just eating dinner. Jess, I'm asking you as a friend. Just please leave now. You really want me to go? I really want to avoid a fight with Dean. Okay, go on. Thank you. Ow. What? I just twisted my ankle. I better go lie down. Jess. God, you're no fun when you're ten. Are you sure you want me to go? Maybe this whole thing can be solved between me and Dean if we just sat down and had a little heart to heart. He could tell me his issues. I'll tell him mine. Yes. I promise I'll speak slowly. Bye. Okay, well, give him my best, would you? Actually, I guess I could do that myself. Dean, Jess just came by to bring me some food. From Luke's? He wanted to make sure I ate. Luke did. Right, Luke did. Personally, I could care less if she eats. Yeah, true. He could care less. I see you brought a little something, too. Is that ice cream? That's so nice. A tiny little ice cream pack is just big enough for two. Hey, are you guys going to feed each other? Because that's just so darn cute. Oof, you're doing that towering over me thing, huh? I tell you, you've really got that down. It helps that you're 12 feet tall. This Frankenstein scale really adds to the whole... Yes. Okay, I'm going. Look, man, I, I really was just dropping off some food, so don't get all West Side Story on me, okay? So, do you want to come in? What the hell is going on? Hi, Dean, you remember Paris, right? Yeah, hi. So, just, just drop this off, huh? Oh, uh, well... Now, I know you eat fast, but this is a lot of food to put away that quickly, even on your best day. Okay, so he didn't just drop it off. You told me you were doing laundry tonight. I was. And now you are here with Jess. And Paris. Jess, Rory. Uh, well, I swear, I didn't... You didn't what? You, you didn't know he was coming over? I didn't. And you also didn't know he was going to stay, right? It just happened. How did that just happen? Well, he was... And the diner, the diner was... And I... And you what? What? Uh, say something. Stop yelling. You totally lied to me. I didn't. Turn the situation around, Rory. How's it looking? It's looking complicated, and I'm trying to explain it oh, to you. That's crap. It's my fault. What? It's my fault that Jess was here. I saw him in a diner the day I came to Stars Hollow, and I thought he was cute. And since I'm not great at the whole batting the eyelashes, look at my belly shirt kind of thing, I asked Rory to help me. I thought if she could maybe get him over here, and we'd have a chance to talk. And I don't know, it seems totally stupid now, and it obviously didn't work. Shock. But that's why he was here. <sighs> Thanks for trying to cover for me. That's okay. Anyway, I should get going. I'm probably going to break out in some sort of rash any second now. Paris likes Jess. Yeah. Rory, is this true? Yes, it is. Paris and Jess. I know. There's no explaining attraction. Dean, listen to me. If I was going to have anyone over tonight, it definitely would have been you. Okay. Really? Well, if you say so, then I have to believe it, don't I? Yes. Okay, then. 
sorry that I yelled. Completely justified under the circumstances. Go get going. No. Wait, don't you want to stay for ice cream? We can hang out. No, I'm just going to go. I'm still seeing you tomorrow, right? Yeah, sure. Hey. See you tomorrow. You helped me. Why would you do that? I don't know. It just came out. You have no idea what you did. What's no big deal? No, it was a very big deal. It was a huge deal. Well, you helped me tonight when you didn't want to, so I owed you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to your alone night. You should stay. Stay? Yeah. We could hang out, maybe watch some TV. You can spend the night if you don't want to drive all the way back to Hartford. Spend the night, like a slumber party? Sort of. But you're just doing this because I lied to Dean for you, right? I'm doing this because it's what you do with friends. We're friends? I'm not sure if there's an exact definition for what we are, but I do think it falls somewhere in the bizarro friends-ish realm. Come on, stay. Okay. But if you're doing all this so you can freeze my bra, I'll kill you. Duly noted. 